Today is Wednesday, May 16th, 2018. Anyone who's been watching so far will notice it's a little bit different in here. Let's see, I have a big monitor here now on my desk. So the camera's right there. Anyways, boring stuff. Let's take a look at the news. PressTV.com, Turkey urges Islamic world to unite against Israel. Call summit. So now Turkey is extreme Islam, jihadis. TheHill.com, Senate votes to save net neutrality rules. And this right when Facebook and Twitter look like they're about to turn it up to 11 on the whole censoring conservatives thing. It's interesting. It's interesting. They went in front of Congress, uh, not under oath. Not only did nothing happen, but now it looks like they're about to just go full bore censorship. Mirror.co.uk. Oldest living person ever at 128 wishes she had died young and says her longevity is a punishment. Tired Koku Istambulova says she hasn't enjoyed a single happy day in her life and has no idea how she has lived so long. ChicagoTribune.com. Things could have gone much worse. Ex-student shot by officer during gunfire exchange at Dixon High School. A former student who fired a gun near the school's gym and later tried to shoot the officer was shot by the school resource officer, Mark Dallas. Hero. TheAdvocate.com. Louisiana lawmakers fistfight. Both apologize. Governor. Sometimes people get too passionate. Now, this makes sense. Um, this tells you where we're getting to right now. I'm new to politics, and as I'm getting into it, I'm realizing that really politics is war. It's a nonviolent war. And that sort of amplifies to the importance of it. I used to grow up, I hated politics. And I think what I, learned, what I hated was the corruption and the career politician thing that, we've, that I've known my whole lifetime. But what makes more sense is for patriots to take office, to guard and protect and keep things running smoothly because it's a war because there are people in there that want to ruin it from within. And there always has been. Once again, Q is talking about the pain coming. So one of the things Q is saying here is there's about to be an executive order publicly released. And we've seen a picture of a pen um, as if he signed an executive order. And that's something we saw before with the December 21st executive order. We saw a pen and a paper uh, stationary, White House stationary before the signature. And so here Q is pointing to a Trump tweet about a rigged system. They don't want to turn over documents to Congress. What are they afraid of? Also, Q referenced Jim Jordan, who Jim Jordan tweeted a document that they signed t telling the president, look, we need you to do something. We need you to step in and use your executive privilege to do something here. Like we've been saying, this is theater. This is just being presented to us in a way to not disrupt society. As a friend of mine says, it's being done in a way to keep the stoplights working, the street signs obeyed so people live in a civilized world, which is really nice. So it's quite possible that the documents have already been handed over. Can you see that on camera? That's got to be about a 4.3 earthquake, I would guess. So I imagine that's what bring the pain means. It means he's about to release an executive order and just take it, which I think it's about time. It's like watching a stubborn, rotten child who is caught red-handed and will not fess up and will just not do it. And it's gotten to the point where we know they're never going to do it. They're going to have to be dragged away kicking and screaming. So, yeah, it's going to take someone's going to have to step in and do that. And it's kind of weird seeing how polite people are. It was a four. I was off. According to the USGS, that was a 4.0 earthquake. So it's hard to tell. Yeah, so things are getting heated, not just here in the volcano beneath me, but throughout the entire country. Politically, something has to be done. It's, it's about time this executive order is going to be so ripe 
so ripe to finally swoop in and take care of things and let justice and truth sort it all out? I'll see you tomorrow.